And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Alex McCormack, who writes, Hi, John. Huge news today with Star Trek Picard Season 2. I know you said you really liked Season 1, and so did I, but today's news was even better. They put out a little teaser for Season 2 and revealed that the plot will revolve around the return of Q, saying, The trial never ends, taking us back to the very first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, did you see the teaser, and what did you think of it? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And you know what? Guys, I still remember, like my mom was a Star Trek fan, is a Star Trek fan, continues to be a Star Trek fan. And so it was kind of a big deal around the Campia household when Star Trek, the next generation was coming out. And I still remember being in our family living room, mom popping on the TV and us sitting down to watch. Uh, what was the name of the first episode? Something at Waypoint or Farpoint Station? What was it called? The name of the Encounter first episode? Encounter at Farpoint. Encounter at Farpoint was the name of the first episode. And of course, we're introduced to Q and all that kind of Q who became a beloved nuisance throughout the entire rest of the Star Trek The Next Generation. And of course, Star Trek The Next Generation then ended with Q. Uh, in the final episode, still to my opinion, Rob, the best series finale in television history with All Good Things Part 1 and 2. I thought I thought it was the greatest series finale ever. I, I, I really do. It, I've never seen a show wrap up so perfectly uh, the way Star Trek The Next Generation did. And Q was a beloved character. Well, apparently now, with the return of Picard, um, they are moving into Season 2 and they are bringing John Delancey back. Q is coming back. Uh, this comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who writes, As a part of Star Trek First Contact Day, Paramount Plus unveiled the very first teaser for Picard Season 2. It doesn't feature any major footage from the upcoming season because they just started filming in February, I believe. Um, instead, choosing to take a trip through Jean-Luc study as he speaks in voiceover. The true final frontier is time, he declares, taking the franchise's most iconic phrase and putting a spin on it. The real tantalizing tease comes at the end. Q, John Delancey, is back. The trial never ends, Q says, before giving a rather ominous laugh. The trailer ends with the confirmation that Picard Season 2 will premiere indeed in 2022. And Rob, I, I don't know what the YouTube channel was or anything, but... Um, they were doing a live stream with Will Wheaton and uh, Patrick Stewart talking about the upcoming season two. And John Delancey came in on the Skype call as well. And it was just really cool. I mean, see, and John Delancey comes in, he says, Bonjour, mon, mon capitaine. And I thought, oh, dude, that's so great to hear him say that. Because I love some of my favorite stuff in Star Trek The Next Generation was honestly just the conversations that Q and Picard would often have. And, you know, some of, some of the best stuff from Picard, I remember one dialogue between them, you're talking about, you know, our, our limited time is what makes life so precious to us. You know, that whole speech he gave Q before. And I have loved that. And I've been wondering for a long time, when are we going to get to see the Q again? And so as somebody, now I, I understand, you and I have different perspectives on Picard. You were not a big fan of Picard. I was a big fan of the show Picard. So, I, I see this and I'm I'm pretty stoked about it. I think this is really wonderful news. But Rob, you know, as a longer uh, time Star Trek fan than me, you are much more vested in Star Trek than I am. You saw this news. What did you make of it? Oh, John, so <laughs> many mixed emotions. Well, here's here's the thing. Obviously, I spent three years of my life making documentaries about Star Trek The Next Generation where I got to meet and interact with all these people for extended periods of time. Um. I think one of the great things about Next Gen was the fact that it was bookended by Picard and Q's relationship. And like you pointed out, All Good Things is one of the best series finales of all time. And I, I just feel that one of the things about Star Trek, one of my biggest problems with the franchise is it keeps going back into its past. Whereas... Star Trek The Next Generation offered, the, the Q was a, a new creation of Star Trek The Next Generation. It was, we'd never met the Q continuum, certainly not a character like Q. There'd been a character like Trelane in the original series. And the fact that the whole series was bookended by John Delancey's Q character, it was such a great way to end the show. 
And the fact that they revisited the uh, pilot in that show uh, was so interesting and, and wonderful. And I feel like, you know, they're moving forward. The fact that modern Star Trek is is constantly, they're bringing back Captain Janeway. They bring back Spock. They bring back Captain Pike. You know, they're going back into Star Trek's history, whereas modern Star Trek, the next generation, I think was as successful as it was because it charted a new course for Star Trek. And it very seldom went back into Trek history and brought back characters. Whenever they did it, it started with Sarek, Spock's father, but it was, well, McCoy was in the pilot, but it was it was done sparingly. And I feel that modern Star Trek is relying upon classic Star Trek in order to appeal to viewers. And I feel in a way, one of the great things about the Star Trek franchise is it constantly moved forward and reinvented itself. And as much as I want to see, as much as I love John Delancey, as much as I love Patrick Stewart, I feel they're falling back on on old, uh, well-trodden, familiar ground in an attempt to appeal to viewers. And I don't think it's always been, actually it hasn't been entirely successful. They did that with the first season of Picard, Seven of Nine, Riker and Troy, you know, uh, uh, Icheb. I mean, they go back and they're, they're bringing back all of these old characters. And I, I feel that Star Trek needs to chart a forward course into the future. And look, maybe we'll get a, as long, look, as long as we get a great story and they're going to bring back Whoopi Goldberg as Guinan. And we know that Guinan and Q had a rivalry of some kind. We don't know what that is because they never told us, but if they delve into that, maybe it'll illuminate that character relationship and that dynamic and it'll play into something new. But I, I mean, look, fingers crossed. I hope it's good. Yeah, see, I, I feel a little bit differently on that than you do because, you know, there's I, I believe there's a difference between, you know, capitalizing on nostalgia and moving backwards. Like, you know, with, with a lot of Star Wars stuff, it's moving backwards. It's telling stories that we already know how those things come about, you know, you know with with Picard, like having Riker there. I mean, these are the closest relationships in his life. So I, I, I don't mind that. And I found it to be kind of a fresh take. But that is going to be the challenge you're going to face moving forward is how do we pepper in because like even next generation right they they started the show with bones showing up they do the big klingon thing spock eventually comes around you know they but they found a way to pepper when appropriate and create new stories with these new characters as they move forward when you're bringing back a jean-luc picard who is already a character we know it's going to be the challenge i think you're right to to find the right way to pepper in the recognizable within the context of a fresh story and it's going to be interesting to see how they balance that line. But I just, in general, Rob, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you I was excited that John Delancey was coming back because I love that character. And it's been, how long has it been since All Good Things? What has it that been? Went like? on, that was 1994. I mean, so we are talking, to, what, 27 years? But he did appear in Deep Space Nine and Voyager, and he did make an appearance in last year's animated Lower Decks, but that doesn't count. <laughs> that, does, yeah, that one doesn't count. But I want to see Q and Picard. I want to see the two of them talking, and I yearn for that. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this news about the direction of Picard Season 2 and the fact that Q is coming back? Are you thinking, hey, maybe this is a little bit too nostalgia-focused? Are you thinking this is terrific? I mean, how do you feel about that? Jump on down into the comments section below. And let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.